Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone. I am Madam Maisara. Before we start, I would like to remind all of you, please copy the solution of all example in this lesson. Today, we are going to discuss topic 5, integration for subtopic 5.1, integration of function. Let's get started. Learning outcome. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to define integration as antiderivative. First of all, what is integration? Basically, integration is the reverse of differentiation and is also known as antiderivative. The process of finding antiderivative is called integration that is represented by the integral sign. Let's see below. If differentiate fx with respect to x equals to fx, then integrate fx dx is equal to fx plus c. The sign here is like charging, uh, we call as integral sign. And then fx here is integrand, and then dx here is uh, differential. And then equals to fx plus c, which is antiderivative of fx, where c is the constant of integration. As you can see, uh, the integration process is actually uh, the reverse process of differentiation from backward to the frontward. The most important thing you need to remember, jika kita integrate, yang Pastinya mesti ada simbol cacing ini dan juga differential. Simbol cacing ini ini merujuk kepada uh, simbol untuk integrate. Di, yang differential ini menunjuk kepada kita nak integrate terhadap apa. And then after kita dah integrate, kita cacing ini, simbol cacing ini bertukar kepada simbol C. Tambah C here which is cacing. So, jadi, cacing itu dah berubah bentuk. Tu kena ingat lah. Now, I want to explain about anti-derivative. Differentiation form. For example, differentiate x power 4 with respect to x. Then, we get 4x cubed. So, we want to state uh, in, in, in uh, we want to state anti-derivative by using integral notation. So, since uh, integration is the reverse process of differentiation, so to, to find the antiderivative, so is from backward to frontward. So, means that integration form is integrate from 4x cubed dx, 4x cubed dx is equal to x power 4 plus c. Daripada belakang ke hadapan. Example involving antiderivative of fx. Now, let's look at example 1. Differentiate with respect to x. Rewrite the following antiderivative using integral notation. Let's say we have question A here. Differentiate with respect to x, 3x. Uh, we can use the rule uh, differentiate with respect to x, x to the power of n and then we get n x to the power of n minus 1. So, differentiate with respect to x, 3x. So, we get 3. So, to rewrite the antiderivative using integral notation, so from backward to the frontward. So, since the backward is 3, so... We have integrate 3dx equals to 3x and then don't forget to uh, to write plus c at the end of the process. So we have here integrate 3dx equals to 3x plus c. Now uh, for question b, we have differentiate with respect to x. 1 over 2 x to the power of 6. We want to differentiate uh, 1 over 2 x power 6. 
So then we can use the uh, the above rule here, x power of n here. So 6 bring to the front. So 6 multiplied by 1 over 2, you get 3. And then don't forget 6 power 6 minus 1. So we have 3x power of 5. Since uh, the antiderivative is from backward to frontward, so means the backward here is 3x power 5. So then we have integrate 3x power 5 dx equals to 1 over 2 x power 6 plus c. Okay, then for question c, we have differentiate with respect to x for set x. So this one, we change for set x to 4x to power of 1 over 2. Then bring 1 over 2 to the front. So we have 1 over 2 times 4 and then power 1 over 2 minus 1. So we get 2x power negative 1 over 2. Then rewrite in simplest form, we get 2 over set x. So now to write, to rewrite antiderivative means integrate 2 set x dx is equal to 4 set x plus c. Now let's look at example 2. If differentiate with respect to x, 1 over 1 plus x square equals negative 2x over 1 plus x square to the power of 2. Find integrate negative 2x over 1 plus x square to the power of 2 dx. Uh, since the differentiation form differentiate with respect to x, 1 over 1 plus x square equal negative 2x over uh, over 1 plus x squared to the power of 2. So, uh, integration process is the reverse process of differentiation. So, from backward to the frontward. Since the backward here is negative 2x over 1 plus x squared to the power of 2. So, then integrate negative 2x over 1 plus x squared to the power of 2 dx is equal to frontward 1 over 1 plus x squared. And don't forget to write plus C. Let's continue with example 3. Differentiate x multiply x minus 1 to the power of 5 with respect to x. Hence, find integrate x minus 1 to the power of 4 multiply 6x minus 1 dx. Now, first, we want to differentiate x multiply x minus 1 to the power of 5. We, uh, we can use product, loop, product rule. So u is equal to x and v equals to x minus 1 to the power of 5. And then u prime is equal to 1, v prime is equal to 5x minus 1 to the power of 4. We can use power rule lah to differentiate v prime. And then we substitute into the formula product rule, which is v u prime plus u v prime. We substitute, we get x minus 1 to the power of 5 plus 5x multiply x minus 1, 4. To simplify this one, we can factorize x minus 1 to the power of 4. So then we get x minus 1 to the power of 4 multiply x minus 1 plus 5x. Then we simplify uh, x minus 1 plus 5x, we get 6x minus 1. Finally, we get x minus 1 to the power of 4 multiply cx minus 1. So, uh, as you can see, we want to, next we want to find integrate x minus 1 to the power of 4, multiply cx minus 1 dx. Uh, so, the integration is the reverse process of this differentiation. So, then, integrate x minus 1 to the power of 4, cx minus 1 dx. Kalau kita terbalikkan daripada bawah ke atas, uh, daripada uh, backward to the frontward, then we get equals to integrate x minus 1 to the power of 4 cx minus 1 dx. We get equal to x multiply x minus 1 to the power of 5 plus c. Let's look at example 4. Show that differentiate with respect to x, x plus 2 over 2x minus 5 equals negative 9 over 2x minus 5 to the power of 2. Hence, find integrate negative 3 over 2x minus 5 to the power of 2 dx. Now we have two objective here, 
uh, to the first one is to show then uh, differentiate with respect to x, x plus 2 over to x minus 5 equals to negative until you get negative 9 over to x minus 5 to the power of 2. The second one, we want to find integrate negative 3 over to x minus 5 to the power of 2 dx by using, must be using the differential, differentiation form above. Since here the word hence is uh, mention that you need to use the differential form. So now we want the first one we want to show differentiate with respect to x, x plus 2 over 2x plus 5. Okay, since this is in the form of u of v, so we need to use quotient rule. Uh, the v should be 2x minus 5 and u should be x plus 2. Now we want to find v prime and u prime. So v prime we get 2, u prime we get 1. And then substitute into the formula of quotient rule, which is v u prime minus u v prime over v squared. So we get 2x minus 5 minus 2 multiply x plus 2 over 2x minus 5 to the power of 2. So you need to simplify until you get negative 9. Uh, over to x minus 5 to the power of 2. So, since kat bawah memang dah 2x minus 5 to the power of 2, so tak perlu buat apa-apa. But you need to simplify the above. So, so you need to expand and then you uh, tambah and tolak. So, here we get yang atas ni, after we simplify, we get negative 9 over 2x minus 5 to the power of 2. So, means that we had E should. It should lah. Now, uh, the second one, we want to find integrate negative 3 over 2x minus 5 to the power of 2 dx. Okay. Since uh, the integration process is the reverse process of differentiation, from backward to the frontward, kalau tengok dekat sini, uh, yang differentiation form ni, differentiation form ni, and backward dia is negative 9 over 2x minus 5 to the power of 2. But in the equation, uh, integration here, this is negative 3 over 2x minus 5 to the power of 2. Dia punya bentuk dia hampir serupa. But, dia punya constant dia tak sama. Jadi, negative 3 satu lagi. Yang sepatutnya is negative 9. So, untuk guna differentiation form, so, sepatutnya, this should be integrate negative 9 over 2x minus 5 to the power of 2. So, jadi kita kena modify dia punya constant. So, then we get, suppose, uh, dia ada constant kat depan ni, multiply integrate negative 9 over 2x minus 5 to the power of 2 dx. Okay. Macam mana kita nak dapat constant kat depan ni? So, caranya, tengok constant yang di atas, Di atas adalah negatif 3 and then yang di bawah negatif 9. So, jadi yang atas bahagi dengan bawah. So, jadi negatif 3 bahagi dengan negatif 9. So, then we tekan calculator, tekan calculator, then we get 1 over 3. Correct? So, now we have uh, 1 over 3 multiply integrate negative 9 over 2x minus 5 to the power of 2 dx. Finally, we get uh, the answer should be 1 over 3 multiply x plus 2 over 2x minus 5. Don't forget to write plus c. Finally, it comes to the end of the lesson. Uh, please remember that uh, your learning process is different on what you read, what you hear, what you see and what you talk about. So that's all for now. Thank you. Bye.